Carinacs, Ubuntu, Parrot OS are great Linux distros. But do you know that they are all built on one distro, which is one of the most stable Linux distro ever. And with its latest release, it is now the best Linux distro ever. So in this video, we will be installing Debian 12 on Android, which is the latest. And of course, if it's Debian, it's stable. So we need to have Tamax installed. You can get it from the GitHub or Android. Once you have that, just go ahead and update its repos. Then we need to install root distro, which is the official utility from Termux to install Linux distros, running via proof. Once it's installed, you can use root distro list command to list the available Linux distros. So for now, we are interested in Debian. So execute root distro install Debian. This will install Debian distro. And once installed, you can use root distro login Debian to login into your distro. Now first and foremost, you must update the repos. Next, we need to install GUI or graphical user interface so that we can access that beautiful GUI. So we have many desktop environments in Debian, but we gonna install XFCE desktop environment as it is lightweight, beginner friendly and highly customizable. So just execute this command to install XFC desktop environment. Next to access GUI, we need to use service like VNC, X server or VLAN. For this tutorial, we'll be using VNC. But if you want to try VLAN, you can use Termux X11. I already made a dedicated video on that. You can check that out. But as of now, just execute this command to install VNC server. And once that's done, just execute this command to create a non script for VNC server and then give executable permission to it. Then this command to create script for stopping VNC server and give executable permission to this also. So now we can use the non script we created to start the VNC server. Now if your device has low specs and Termux gets killed, so you can wait for 10 seconds after starting the VNC server so that Termux will be in foreground and maybe not get killed. And if any app uses too much memory in the background, it gets killed. So once you started the VNC server, just go to the VNC viewer and if you don't have this, you can get it from Play Store. So once you have that, click on this plus icon and create a connection with localhost colon 1 and give any name to it. And if you want to access it from your other devices, just add this switch with VNC server command to access it from your other devices but only on devices which are connected to your local network then you will be able to access this from your other devices from the device IP address so now just connect to it enter your password and connect now this is little bit glitchy so just click on this eye icon and change picture quality to high now it's good and here is our Debian 12 running GUI now first thing you may want to do is to change the display size so that it fits to your mobile screen size. So let's click here and go to settings, display and here change display resolution according to your device. And now it's fine. But still we have to do one more thing which is sound fixing. This is optional but if you want to fix sound in this just keep watching. So go to Termux, swipe left and create a new session and install pulse audio and then execute this command now if you go to debian and play a video or audio you will be able to get sound working also as we are using xf3 desktop which is highly customizable you can use different themes to make it look more better i have a video for that here 